All right, I want to do a quick little uh, Bible review here. Uh, a couple months ago, a guy contacted me, and a brother contacted me, and he said, Have you heard of the King James Version, the Cambridge Edition, the Transetto Edition? And I said, No, I haven't heard of that. You know, what is it? And he sent me a link to it. And they said it's a this new concept in, in Bible printing. And I thought, oh, that's kind of interesting. And uh, just kind of put it in the back on the back burner, kind of, ah, I'll get around to it someday. I'll, I'll pick up one up and do a little review on it. Well, today's the day. And here is the little Transetto King James Bible. A very unique little Bible. I'm going to show you here a little bit more detail. Okay, here you have the Transetto King James Bible right here. And, of course, this one I've used a lot in my videos before. Um, now, normally, any Bible you're ever going to pick up, this is the way you read it. Like this, and then here, and then here, and here. If you have a Jewish Bible, I guess you read the opposite direction, you know, Hebrew Bible. But this thing, if you notice that the front cover there, the words are this way, that's because when you open it, That's how the text is laid out. Let me get this one out of the way so you, we can zoom in a little bit more on this thing so you can get a closer look at it. Okay, here I thought this was kind of neat. KJV 400, 1611 to 2011. But uh, if it goes in Holy Bible King James Version. Names in order of all the books of the Old and New Testament. The Old Testament, and then you go to, uh, whoop, went too far. Genesis chapter 1. And it is the right uh, text so far from what I've seen in the beginning. God created the heaven, the heaven, and the earth, you know. And uh, it sits down here in the Spirit, capital S. You know, so it's, uh, it's pretty good. But the point is, you know, it's, it's interesting because you read the columns down like this. You know, here and then you go to here. So you have a, a very compact little Bible, but the columns are actually, you know, you're holding the book sideways. You know, you don't want to read it that way. You want to read it like this. And uh, this is kind of unique here. You can see that, you know, it looks almost like this came apart from here, like that. But see, the thing is, if that was glued on there, you'd go to open it up, see it, it, you'd have it, you know, break it in there, which a lot of Bibles have a problem with. They'll crack in here. This one is loose from that. So you can lay it flat. So I thought, that's, that's kind of unique little Bible. And, you know, I've gone through it. It's nothing fancy at all. It's just a, uh, you know, a small size Bible. You know, the text uh, is pretty, pretty little. I'm not sure what font size that is. Probably about, oh, I don't even know, seven or eight, perhaps. It's not very big. I mean, you compare the wording there to just a standard, you know, King James Bible. You know, you can see the difference there. But uh, one thing I think is kind of weird, the one objection I would have to this thing, you go the whole way to the back, and I don't know if this is just from the seller or from the printer, but I'm not really into a red pentagram in the back, on the back page there. It's kind of odd, and, you know, it's not like you can cut it out either because, you know, it goes over here to the, daily reading plan like that so that's you know I don't really know what the purpose of that is I mean this could have been from the seller that I bought it from maybe this isn't from Cambridge maybe they don't actually do that but that's you know kind of peculiar why they would have that in there but uh, you know other than that it's it's a it's a good little King James Bible you could definitely carry this thing it would be portable um, it's a hardback it's not you know paper or anything as far as like a thin paper it's kind of a 
heavier, almost like a cardboard. Again, you know, it's not real super high quality as far as like a real fine leather Bible or anything, but it's, it's not bad. Seems, uh, you know, pretty well made, you know, but you can really bend the thing around, you know, like that. Definitely a unique little Bible. If you're looking for a unique Bible to carry, this might be one for you.